our guest, Gregor Putocar, SAP Chief Operating Officer for Eastern Europe. What are the things that you are now looking at and what are the things that inspire you? So it, it's, it's, it's a really new situation for everybody. So and then we're trying to understand the situation. So we want to avoid the panic yeah? um, and to like navigate. Yeah? When you navigate, you first you have to know where you are. Yeah? And um, we're trying to calm down everybody also. We have a running project. We need to plan the future. Everything is now coming somehow together. Yeah? We still don't understand the implications of the of, of this new situation uh, and they will reveal quite fast i believe that everybody is still living of some so-called i would call it old revenue yeah so the project that started before but for us it's big challenge now how to develop new business because it's totally different and um, we are leaning more and more into cloud solutions and some of the sales cycles are speeding up rapidly and some of them are just stopped, and we don't know how to continue. Yeah. Gregor, you mentioned there are so many unknowns, and uh, probably you as a leader also do not have the right map. It's a normal thing for leaders that they need to innovate, that they need to be bold and look forward to the things. But the fact is that uh, we, we've never been in such situation before. So uh, how are you doing your map? Uh, how is your company helping you with that? Yeah, so what I can observe is that we have a huge increase in the market reportings. Yeah? So, because we, we don't know how to how to translate the information we receive yeah? or translate them into some actionable plans. This is extremely problematic. Um, we need to spend the resources in the right way. Yeah? We cannot travel on the top of it. I'm working in the regional perspective, multinational perspective, and we have desired that we work in the matrix. So. People are covering multiple territories, and this is completely new for us. Now we have to combine all this new data, and corporation is pouring a lot of data down on us. For the Eastern Europe, it's a bit hard because you know, the biggest analytical house they don't provide all the insights. Um, but we're trying to combine this into some cocktail that we work in this region. Yeah. So yeah, it's a bit different world for us. <laughs> When it talked, uh, probably three months ago, everybody was talking about talents and the fight for the talents and people and so on. But now we are in a situation that probably many of the talents will be also dismissed in their companies. So uh, do you still think it's important uh, to nurture talents and to, to nurture the people around you? Actually, now it's even more important, yeah, if, if this can be more important than, than in usual way, because we, we, we are not planning any cuts in the, in the, yeah, in the, in the people resources way, um, but we cannot employ. Yeah? So some attrition will happen and we will probably shrink from this perspective. Yeah? But nothing is planned. We're actually adding incentives for the existing employees. We're investing in trainings a lot. We never had so many trainings. Yeah, we're using this, let's say, people should have a bit more time. Maybe this is just an impression, but let's say we increase the number of enablements, also quite specialized ones, and we're introducing new incentives. So actually we're incentivizing more. Yeah? Also, uh, SAP is a corporation which just is issued a, a, a stock equity plan for all the employees for 400 million euro that will take that will be real, realized in the next three years. So this part is okay. Yeah? I see a problem that we cannot employ new people. We cannot hire. Yeah? That's the issue for us. Gregory, you mentioned uh, so many information coming, so many unknowns, so many things happening all the time on these calls. Uh, and I want to know you as a person, as a a human being, not just as a leader, but you as you, how are you taking this? Uh, what are the things that you are holding on to as a person? I hate it, actually. So uh, my, my usual yeah, um, days or week is that I travel at least every second week and I, I meet teams, I meet customers. And now with, with this over flooding with calls, which are or conference calls that are 
sometimes they don't have even clear purpose, right? But at the beginning, it was really a big panic for everybody. And me as a leader, I spent a lot of time to calm down people. Yeah? So that, and because the, 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 the number of conferences increased so much because people were searching for their produ- productive role or meaning in this new environment. And this is not working. So we actually ask a lot of people to go to vacation, not this waiting time. Just spend your regular vacation. Don't sit on conf calls if they're no use. And I believe now after two months, we somehow stabilize this. Yeah? Um, I, I, I should be working from home more, let's say, but I was using the, 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 the privilege I have that I'm also running this Slovenian subsidiary and my entrance card was still working. So I could go to the office. Um, I'm in the office now, and we reopened two weeks ago, and it, it's much better for everybody. So we miss this uh, live contact, also with the customers, and I'm really happy that it's all coming up together. Yeah. So it's really coming age to age will be more important. Do you that we know that uh, digital transformation probably is speeded, but age to age still matters, or does it? Of course it does. Um, I believe that we will be more rational anyhow, because now there was a lot of live contact also with not such a productive outcomes. So now what we learned is that we can do a lot of these regular checkings, check-ins, sorry, um, through a video. Yeah? But when you enter a serious business, negotiations, explanations and stuff, you cannot you cannot substitute the, the, the live content. I read somewhere that it's for us it's three times harder to read people through the camera than live. So the calls are less productive. Yeah. So yeah, edge to edge, live edge to edge. And now the last question, Gregor, one thing that uh, basically inspires you, one thing that you are motivated by, what is the one thing that you would have to say it's there when you need to see where the lighthouse is, you know that it's there. Yeah, caffeine, <laughs> just, just kidding. So um, I'm 23 years in this, yeah, in this roles. And I, I learned to, let's say, control my emotions or motivation. But what motivates me is that I'm trying to understand future really uh, in deep and not just the next three months, but next year or two. And if you have a clear picture, almost clear picture, what will happen in a year or two, then you feel better on, yeah, when you have this crisis or sometimes you believe you have an impression that everything dissolved, disintegrated, it's a total mess. And you go back to your yeah, long-term trajectory and it's okay, you reset. And it, it helps to the people. Let's say in corporations, we have this quarterly rhythm. And sometimes this end of the quarters are brutal. Yeah? And you burn many bridges yeah, this time. And then always first week after the quarter end, it's time for reset. And sometimes you reset also in the quarters because you need it. And you know I reset through the long-term planning or visions and stuff. So reset, this is something that we should all do and hopefully for the best. Thank you. Our seven minutes is up. Uh, thank you, Gregor. See you soon. Live. Thank you. See you soon. Yeah.